to the doctor, the chocobo is out of immediate danger. But he needs more treatment before he's fully recovered. So now I have to play nurse to a giant bird. I'm telling you, it better be worth the trouble. He'll become your steed. And not only that, if the legends are true, he'll be able to guide you to the temple of the goddess and the source of the great chaos. We'll see. He'd better be useful. I was never one for keeping pets. Somehow, that doesn't surprise me. So, what are you going to do next?
they give up their lives so that we Moogles really do say Koopo Koopo! Do you know about Moogles? They're creatures from fairy tale books?
Thanks to the doctor, the chocobo is out of immediate danger. But he needs more treatment before he's fully recovered. So now I have to play nurse to a giant bird. I'm telling you, it better be worth the trouble. He'll become your steed. And not only that, if the legends are true, he'll be able to guide you to the temple of the goddess and the source of the great chaos. We'll see. He'd better be useful. I was never one for keeping pets. Somehow, that doesn't surprise me. So, what are you going to do next? We aren't expecting any deliveries, so unfortunately you'll have to go get some yourself. If you need advice, go and talk to my assistant, 13. Hi. What do you need today? Welcome, traveler. We aren't expecting any deliveries, so unfortunately you'll have to go get some yourself. Visit any time. Although, with all the rumors of ferocious beasts roaming about, I'd think twice about wandering far from the village. Come again. Hi. What do you need today? Come back again soon. Welcome, traveler. Care to rest a while? Does your chocobo need something extra nutritious? Well, I'd highly recommend fuzzy sheep milk. Do you know about Arius Village at the top of the hill? It's famous for its fuzzy sheep. They have lots of milk, I bet. Don't you worry. That chocobo is in the safest of hands, and he's bound to recover. When it comes to chocobo vets, Dr. Gazal is in a class of his own. Father still searches for my mother, even though she's long been dead. Sarala. Oh, hello! Is that fertilizer from the woods? Thanks! Does that mean you met Father? I've got some bad news. Oh, no! Please, not that! He left a message. His last words before he died were, dig next to the flower. The, the flower? A box? My dearest daughter, if this letter has found its way into your hands, it breaks my heart. But you shall not be seeing me again. I pray that you'll forgive me, but I could not bring myself to say these words to you in person. Now, I want you to know this. The vegetables that we grow in that field are the finest in all of the wildlands. Everyone who tastes them agrees. Do you know why, my daughter? Because you... You are the one who tends them. It's all thanks to you. Once I am dead, the farm passes to you. It's yours to do as you please. I ask only one thing of you. You know the flower that I looked after? The one that never blooms? Please, promise me you'll look after it and keep it safe. This is my last request to you. There will be no more after this. Farewell, my dearest daughter. Oh, Dad! Are you all right? Yes. Thank you for everything, for telling me the truth. Father stayed here on the farm, not because he liked it, but because he didn't want to leave me alone. He always wanted to leave, to leave this place and go on a journey. A journey? Yes, to find my mother. She disappeared a long time ago, but he believed she was alive, and he thought I held him back. You shouldn't think like that. But it's true. Look what he wrote in the letter. 
It's all about that stupid flower that never even blooms. He practically comes out and says he doesn't care what happens to me as long as his precious flower is safe. What flower? Oh, who cares? He was obsessed with it, you know? Always fussing over it. Even though it never bloomed once. What? It is. It really is. I found it. Unbelievable! Who are you? Why, who cares who I am? Behold, the Serala Rosa, genus Muncius, the flower of legend, said to bloom once every 500 years. What? Serala? Yes, yes. Serala Rosa Muncius. In the ancient tongue, it means for the love of my daughter. The legend says that any place that it blooms will be blessed with great fortune and prosperity forever. I must leave you now and write my paper before my rivals beat me to it. Cornelia is my name, and plant biology is my game. Goodbye and good luck. Sarala. Hmm. He must have named you after the flower. For good luck and prosperity. Yes. Oh, Dad. wanted some greens, didn't you? You can borrow my field if you like, to grow some of your own. I'm not a farmer. You'll soon get the hang of it. You just need dirt, which I've got. And we've got the fertilizer that Father found. There you go. Can you see? The spots where I spread the fertilizer. Just plant seeds there and gazelle greens will sprout thick as weeds. Here. I'll give you your first seed. The better the fertilizer, the more greens you can grow. Go find some and bring it back here. Oh, it's a shame. If only you had some fertilizer, you could plant a big crop of greens. Oh, it's a shame. If only you had some fertilizer, you could plant a big crop of greens. Very nice. That's good fertilizer you found. Now you'll be able to grow an even bigger crop of greens. Very nice. That's good fertilizer you found. Now you'll be able to grow an even bigger crop of greens. Good fertilizer you found. Now you'll be able to grow an even bigger crop of greens. <laughs> Plant your seeds in the places where the fertilizer has been spread, and gazelle greens will sprout. chocobos when they're tracking their prey. They give their chocobos a special medicine. You could probably get some at Yogged Village. 
How are things? We grow gazal greens right here in the village. There's a man and his daughter who have their own field. Cole and Sarala are their names. Maybe they have some to share. Once he's back to full health, you'll be able to ride the Chocobo across the breadth of the Wildlands. It's his destiny, as the one and only sacred Chocobo in all the world. Hmm, you don't look well. Such a resilient animal. Will he be all right? Hmm. Let's have a look. <coughs> yes, he's doing much better. Healthy enough to be ridden, I'd say. He's on the way to a complete recovery. But you'll need to keep an eye on him for a while. Uh -huh. ah, I must say, he truly is a splendid specimen. I've spent a hundred years caring for chocobos, and I feel as if it were all preparing me for this moment. Thank you. Now that you've nursed the chocobo back to health, why not take him for a ride? You can explore the wildlands together. What is it? Rest for a while. You feeling okay?
By the way, I've been meaning to ask you, when you found the Angel of Valhalla, did anything unusual happen? I didn't hear the voice of the girl again, if that's what you mean. But I do remember a strange feeling coming over me, that I'd known the Chocobo before. It was odd. Is that so? Perhaps that feeling means that you are in fact the Chocobo's ordained master. I don't know, but it felt more like a memory from the past than any omen for the future. Like we'd been allies before, a long time ago. Allies in battle, you mean? I dare say that Chocobo could hold his own against any foe, big or small. Or perhaps you were a Chocobo yourself. In some other time, you and he gambled across the open plains. But whatever the truth, you must care for him now. I think your Chocobo is strong enough to be ridden. In fact, I'd recommend it to help him build his strength. I'll ride him, if you think he's ready. But by rights, it should be you. You were the one who tracked him all those years and saved him from his injuries. I'm too old to ride a Chocobo like that. And do you think I'd go gallivanting into that temple looking for the great chaos? No, my place is here to help you fulfill your destiny. I think your Chocobo is strong enough to be ridden. In fact, I'd recommend it to help him build his strength. I'll ride him, if you think he's ready. But by rights, it should be you. You were the one who tracked him all those years and saved him from his injuries. I'm too old to ride a Chocobo like that. And do you think I'd go gallivanting into that temple looking for the great chaos? No, my place is here to help you fulfill your destiny. Have I told you about the wild herb that chocobos sometimes eat? Well, I call it an herb, but really it's a kind of flower. The hunters of Yag know the places where it grows. Have I told you about the wild herb that chocobos sometimes eat? Well, I call it an herb, but really it's a kind of flower. The hunters of Yag know the places where it grows. Have I told you about the wild herb that chocobos sometimes eat? No, I call it an herb, but really it's a kind of flower. The hunters of Yag know the places where it grows. Your chocobo is looking so much better. I wonder if you could take him out for a ride, let him stretch his legs and get some fresh air. Chocobos can jump much higher than we can, so you can jump to places you normally can't. Although, don't push him too hard. Your chocobo still isn't back to full fitness yet. What is it? Your chocobo gets better every time I see him. But maybe it's time you gave him something else to eat. He was a wild chocobo, right? Well, I've heard that when chocobos get sick or injured out in the wild, they like to eat a plant called Yule's flower. Unfortunately, the flower doesn't grow around here. But the hunters of Yagd know where to find the flowers. Go ask them. What is it?
see something? Oh, thanks a lot. Rest for a while. You feeling okay? Shame. Poor Cole. He loved his wife, he did. As long as Sarala takes over the field, I'll be okay. In the Wildlands, survival is about doing your job. I'll take Gasol Greens over Tantal Greens any day. Tantal? Tantal Greens. The folk over at the Chaos Research Camp grow them. They're a fine lagoon, but not as good as Gasol Greens, in my opinion. But pay them a visit, if you're interested. Hmm. I wonder if Cole is with his wife now, in the other world. Feeling okay? Everyone is very excited that you found the Angel of Valhalla. I want to thank you on behalf of Canopus Farms. Why would they be excited? According to your own legends, it's an evil omen. Aye, that's true enough. Some people even call it the Harbinger of Death. But even so, we don't fear it. We already know this world is about to be swallowed up by the chaos. 
But the thing is, when that happens, we believe that we'll be reunited with our loved ones who passed before. The end will be terrible, but there's hope on the other side. So that's the Wildlands religion. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go so far as to call it a religion. But yeah, we don't follow the city folk beliefs. They think that a messenger from God called the Savior will appear out of nowhere. Then this Savior is going to take them to a new promised land. Now, I'm not one to judge other people's beliefs, but personally, it just sounds like wishful thinking. But then, I suppose the folk praying in the Order's churches don't put much stock in our beliefs either. That's fine with me. I've always said everyone's entitled to believe what they want. I just hope everyone gets what they're looking for in the end. And for us, that just means being with our families again. Are you enjoying village life? We grow Ghazal greens right here in the village. There's a man and his daughter who have their own field. Cole and Sarala are their names. Maybe they have some to share. Hey, we grow Ghazal greens right here in the village. There's a man and his daughter who have their own field. Cole and Sarala are their names. Maybe they have some to share. What's those bandages are off you? Welcome, traveler. Care to rest a while? Shame. Poor Cole. He loved his wife, he did. As long as Sarala takes over the field, I'll be okay. And the Wildlands, survival is about doing your job. I'll take Gasol Greens over Tantal Greens any day. Tantal? Tantal Greens. The folk over at the Chaos Research Camp grow them. They're a fine legume, but not as good as Gasol Greens, in my opinion. But pay them a visit, if you're interested. We grow Ghazal greens right here in the village. There's a man and his daughter who have their own field. Cole and Sarala are their names. Maybe they have some to share. You can feed a chocobo as much chocobo and Ghazal greens as he'll swallow. You don't have to ration them. That chocobo is still on the mend. He'll impress you yet. Once he's fully healed, your chocobo can take you places that regular chocobos can't. At least... That's what Seven said. <laughs> I am a humble visitor. I heard the angel of Valhalla had appeared and came to see if the stories were true. I heard the angel of Valhalla had appeared and came to see if the stories were true. Have I told you about the wild herb that chocobos sometimes eat? Well, I call it an herb, but really it's a kind of flower. The hunters of Yagd know the places where it grows.
In the wildlands, I generally stop by Canopus Farms and the hunting village of Yag for wares. In the wildlands, I generally stop by Canopus Farms and the hunting village of Yag for wares. stock up on succulent vegetables and fresh meat while I'm here. Oh, thanks a lot. Why don't you take a look at that? They always produce the finest vegetables over in Canopus Farms. The people in this area are very friendly, unlike in the big city. Oh, thanks a lot.
In the wildlands, I generally stop by Canopus Farms and the hunting village of Yagd for wares. Oh, thanks a lot.